Hi, this is Adam with Small Town Machine Shop. Today, I'm going to finish the wiring. Hopefully, I'll still burger drill press. Got the wiring on the milling machine done. Oh, you want to see something that, that would be, seem crazy to you guys? Okay, look, there's the milling machine. There's this controller. Here's the drill. Doesn't have a controller. <laughs> <laughs> the way this is set up, any machine will turn on every machine. So, uh, more about that later. So, most of the things I wire are much heavier gauge than this. So, the little potentiometer there, I need to solder connections on there. And it's uh, it's been a minute since I've soldered anything that small. So, I'll see what kind size wires I have laying around. Because all we got to do is solder three wires into there. Two will go directly back to the motor. One will go through this toggle switch and then go to the uh, controller. And yeah, we will be in business. So let me go grab some soldering supplies and let's see how I do there. I'll bring you back. Okay, here we go. I did a initial one because I forgot to hit record and it uh seems strong so I got the other wire there where I want it to go and I uh again I've this is my first time soldering wire this small especially to like a switch so I'm sure this, this is a good thing about doing stuff like this when you have a YouTube channel. Is now the comment section will explode with how wrong I did it. Okay, so as I watch a few videos here, this wire is very thin and kind of uh, bouncy. Get some on the tip here. Hold it to the wire. It's kind of tacky poo it. And this is rosin core. Got some transfer there. Very finicky. I'm not sure if you can see what I'm doing. That's probably for the better. Make sure it's not touching that other one. Okay, well, it's on there. It certainly is not pretty. Let that dry for just a second here, and I'll give it a little wiggy, wiggle poo. Okay, it's in there. So, where's my other wire? So these red and the black wires, they're going to be the constant the power in out power in on the vfd here let me bring my wire strippers over here so let me use this guy oh no oh, yeah. pre-strip it so there's not any additional undue stresses on anything i soldered because i don't have the greatest confidence in that it's if one of these comes loose it just will stop working nothing's going to short out or anything like that so, I'll bend. Get out. 
I bend this in a way it'll kind of hold itself up because that's the only way I could think to uh, have that stay in place. I'll go the other way. I know. That will drive some people crazy that I just did that. If I can bend it, after I'm done, out of there, bring you down just a little bit. Really finicky. You know, I have no problem saying when I have no experience doing anything, something, and that is this. So, okay, that's a kind of touching it. <laughs> Get some extra wire at this time. bit there it's moving I don't like that That one's, that one's the ugliest of them all. There we go. Slow that around. There we go. That looks better. Let that cool for a second here. I think I'm ready to hit the assembly line. Okay. Let me get the other wires going. Uh, these are the ones you have to solder. I'll run the other wires here, and then we'll go over to the, uh, the VFD. Okay, bring it back. Okay. So, got it wired in. Um, as far as the wiring goes, I'm going to refer you guys to, and I'm going to mis mispronounce his channel name, the AR Cave Shop. He recently did a couple videos on wiring these VFDs, and they are the absolute best videos I've ever seen on wiring these things and explaining it. You have to check them out. If you can't wire something, a VFD off, after watching his videos, then you have no business touching any of this stuff. They're that, they're that good. So... We got it in, and I'm going to admit, it took me three times to, with the soldering to get it right. Learned a lot, so now, see, turn it on, there we go. Backwards, and it's in reverse. Okay, so that is really going to turn this into like a whole other machine. It was a big mess. There was much, much frustration with the uh, soldering, especially when I messed up the first time. I should have take disconnected everything, took it back to the bench, but no, I did it on there, so that 
added another difficulty to it. But I got her. Like I said, learned a bunch. So yes, the drill press is ready to go with a vast electrical upgrade. Again, in the uh, links uh, description below, I'll put links to the AR Cave Shops videos. Check his stuff out. Awesome stuff. And yeah. Now time to clean this thing off and get it back to work. Okay. This is Adam, the Small Down Machine Shop. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.